Okay, so now we're gonna do our first run. Uh, this will be our first ever attempt at making biodiesel using this cavitation process. So Charlie, whenever you're ready, just open the ball valves and let me know. Open. Stop. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, well, you can just, just bring it over pour the trash a little bit or... in oh, here. Back in there. It's... Yeah, it's too full. Okay. All right. Let's bring this over to the Now table. this, we're ready to put in the separatory funnel. Unless it's so full that you're going to slop it everywhere. Takes a steady hand. So this batch of biodiesel was made from oil that we collected from Austin restaurants. Um, and it actually is a very high FFA oil. It's about titrated at about a 12. So we had to use 19 grams per liter of KOH in the methanol. So it's possible that this one's gonna have a hard time fully settling. Or that uh, once we start to wash it, that we wind up with a lot of soap. Let's set this down. So right now we can see it's very cloudy all the way through. It's really uniform. And so over the course of hopefully just minutes, some of the glycerin, which will be darker than the rest, will coalesce at the bottom. And then the top layer should become lighter. Now the fact that this is a um, I don't know what you call that. It's thinner at the bottom than it is at the top. The top is always going to look darker than the bottom because you're looking through more of the liquid. So it's a little harder to tell the, the color change than a graduated. It's not graduated. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so what we're looking for is little biodiesel bubbles at the bottom. Sorry, glycerin. Oh. <laughs> I was laughing at the moment when I was running around with that thing going, what do I do, what do I do? Thankfully we got that all on film. Yeah, we'll have to oh, yeah. keep that. <laughs> Anyone else really wish we had that nice oil? So. Virgin oil. We can also just go buy one gallon for like three bucks. Yeah. <clears throat> Those black specks on the glass, or is that the liquid? It's settling down. Okay. That stuff was wasn't there when, in fact, it wasn't there just about a minute ago. I didn't think so. Also, with the darker oil, it's harder to see the biodiesel layer at the top. So we peaked at about 90 PSI. Hmm. Yeah. Sounds like we need to go back to the other plates. And now that we now that we ballparked it, okay, we're at 90. Mm -hmm. We can go back in and use the one that was at 150 and see what it does with this, I guess, more viscosity and nothing wrong. <clears throat>
Starting to see fall, little things fall down. Yeah. Oh, Kiku Garden? Is that one that you... That's what I'm going to Okay. Today. Oh, it's building up on the bottom there. There it is, yeah. That and uh, Game Time Pizza or whatever it was. Game Town, something like that. Start to get a little yeah, build up, yeah, get the layer go. down there. Let's see on top of this. Maybe that's just my imagination. I'm trying to keep the top. Oh, yeah. It seems lighter and thinner. Well, I've gotten those layers before. That layer looks like methanol. Hmm. I mean, it should be higher. Is it supposed to be sealed? Um, yeah. Does it make a difference? Okay. There's an excess of methanol in this cell, in theory. Okay. We should have food. <coughs> Definitely dark at the bottom. Yeah, it's starting to build up now. Yep. Oh, I see. I can definitely see it going down. Now it's starting. Which is. So the stuff on the bottom, I think, looks nicer. It's clearer than what's on top. It's also just a narrow tube. Well, isn't that pretty? There's a cottonwood tree here. Ooh. Oh, it's those uh, thistles. Oh, great. This will be needed more of those. So if this doesn't meet the specification for glycerin, which is really the only specification we're thinking it might not, with, or that the variables would really affect, we need to get that pressure out, right? To the point where our pump can't make any more pressure. And if that doesn't do it, then it'd be like multi-passes, mm -hmm. right? We wouldn't want to do multi-passes until we totally max yeah. out one pass. That looks like our biodiesel at the bottom there. It won't be good. Yeah, like I assume all that stuff falling is going to build up. All the glycerin is going to build up under that. Looks like it already is a little. This is the interesting. My money is on this being the glycerin. It's probably being like some methanol. But look, like that's. I know why it's is the bottom getting there, clear? That's so bizarre. Well, pure glycerin is clear. I mean, that's the gauge is going to glycerin. What is? Our gauge. The oh, is that one. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little side note. 
And the biodiesel will be hazy. Um, how much methanol do we have in there? Percentage wise? 20. 20%. The excess methanol will make it hazy. Once it's settled, we can pour it into a, even a mason jar or put water in it and just like shh, 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 let it settle. Or pour it back in here. Yeah. Well, what we should do is drain the glycerin off the bottom and then water wash it. Well, but water washing with that that tube doesn't isn't a seal, so we can't shake it or do anything. We just pour straight to the bottom. I don't want to shake. It. Well, you can gently. You can't do anything with that. That's sealed. This isn't it glass. It's like perfectly ground though. Really? Like you could turn I've it upside down it. and nothing will come out. Wow. We'll just okay. hold it there. Okay, yeah. Cool. It's, not, I mean, it's, it's definitely tenuous, but it looks like it's working. I mean. Yeah, so we had a pretty good clip. Why didn't we do this with virgin oil? Right now. Okay. I really don't think we should do a bunch more without virgin oil because there's so many variables we need. Probably need too much so Yeah, it was a mistake mixing that stuff with the water. You're doing yeah. what? I mean, I, I, that's oh. why I'd set that stuff aside to make biodiesel with and we started mixing water with it. That we should have used our oil with yeah. the water and saved that. Yeah, you're right. Hopefully we're some Santa Claus will come by and bring us another ten gallons of virgin peanut oil. What happens? Yeah. I'd say for sure, but it definitely seems like it's darker than it like I was seeing more light through it before than I am now. Like the whole thing yeah. seems darker. But we'll see, you know, once I get it on the computer and I fast forward at eight X we'll be able to just see. Seems like it's speeding up. Seems like it's working. That's cool. Roughly the same amount of glycerin should come out as methanol, right? Like volume wise. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, when they talk about yield, the yield is 90%. So if we put in 1,000 gallons, we get 9,000 gallons of oil, we get 900 gallons of biodiesel out. But the total volume, if we start out with 1,000 gallons of oil, we'd add 200 gallons of methanol. And then you get 900 gallons of biodiesel out. So once you have those two things mixed, out of the 1,200 gallons, you're only getting 900 gallons of biodiesel. So that yield is really 900 out of 75 percent. So 25 percent of that ballpark number should be glycerin. And since it's so much smaller at the bottom, probably half, from top to bottom, should be glycerin. <coughs> Is that line all the way up here now? Yeah. Huh. That's already almost half. Look at that. Oh, I'll be. Oh, look how much lighter it is up here now. Okay. So what... What time is it now? If you really want to get fancy, we'd make a Dr. Pepper bottle batch at the same time and let both yep. of them settle. See what happens. 
2.13. So maybe wait 20 minutes. At yeah. least record it for 20 minutes. Yeah, totally. And uh, we can have unlimited time. I'm sure we'll do this kind of thing over and over again, too. So the two things that would be very useful would be to repeat this with the virgin oil, obviously, but to repeat the same test using the Dr. Pepper method and through the bypass line instead of the cavitation to yeah. see how much better this is. <clears throat> now it's looking better again. Do you think it's just the sun? 